Brock Purdy was Why firmly in control of the offense. We started the day with a backup QB controversy. That is no more. Sam Darnold, who Kyle Shanahan uh, compared to Steve Young, has now been named the Niners' backup over Trey Lance to Nick Wright's chagrin. Nick, your reaction? No, listen. I want to be very, very clear. I have never once said that I believe Trey Lance is great. I have never once said that I have evidence that he's good. I did say foolishly, and now it looks laughably dumb that I trusted the Niners quarterback evaluation process. But obviously, that's idiotic because they have the worst quarterback evaluation process in recent NFL history Mm. by their own admission. Wow. Well, Brew, go ahead. You seem like you're champing at the bit. Who was better in college, the, Sam Darnold or Trey Lance? Sam Darnold. Darnold. Yeah. I, I, I think Brock Purdy had a better college career okay, than Trey Lance. That's fine. One guy went third, one guy went dead last. I, no, I get that, this? but he what? played at, at Iowa State versus what? That's Utah great. State that's for Trey Lance? Look. North Dakota State. I, yeah. I, the North Dakota, no. Utah State was right, Jordan. Right, North Dakota yeah. State, my bad. But my point is this. Even if they got, if they, if Brock Purdy pans out or he gets hurt and Sam Darnold pans out and they win a Super Bowl, yeah. who cares that they didn't get Trey Lance right? They it's got him where they that, want to go. Fine, but who cares that they gave up so many that picks is, for him? Be, well, I'll tell you why. Because, you know, if they had a state. If it, they win a Super Bowl with Brock Purdy, it okay. matters that, oh, they haven't gotten anything the, out of Trey Lance. No, no, no. What matters is that you had the 12th pick of the draft two years ago. And I understand it's just the 12th pick. You, you, you know, maybe it would just be a terrible player. Could have drafted Mac Jones there. As it happens, the guy who went 12th, it, it's kind of a deep cut. It, it, Micah Parsons is who went with the, with the pick the Niners had. But they said, we don't want that pick. And we don't want our next year's first. And we don't want the year after that's first. What we want is this player. And then they said, but we know he's raw. He's not going to play his rookie year. So be it. And then, after making the NFC title game with your guy Jimmy Garoppolo, they said, we believe in this player so much, Mm -hmm. so much, that Jimmy is locked out of the building, and he's our starter. They went through an entire offseason. He's our starter. An entire preseason. He's our starter. Played one game. Didn't play well. It was a downpour, but fine. He then broke his leg. And now, they are saying... We're done with him entirely. That is terrible process. He got beat out by Sam that, And what I am telling you is this. It is a terrible process if you spend uh, $100 million worth of NFL resources on a player and then say a guy who has had six years and 60 starts for us all to know stinks. We value him more. That means your process is broken. If in the meantime, you stumbled ass backwards into Brock Purdy, maybe that'll save you. But your process is broken. If you drive your fancy car off a cliff and land next to a hidden treasure, it doesn't mean it was a good idea. They didn't drive it just off means a cliff. you got They lucky. drafted Brock Purdy. They, he didn't just show up to practice the, and say, hey, no, can I throw it? That's fine. I'm not talking about he, Brock they Purdy. They drafted him. Brew, I'm talking they about went out and got and Sam. Da- they went out and got Sam Darnold when nobody else wanted him. And you they think saw he's something. No, they didn't. You think Sam Darnold's good now? Mike, is this the argument? I think he must be better than Trey Lance. And, and what I am saying is. Because he was better at every other what, level. What I am saying is, if you take a player from the D2 level who had a dozen college starts and you, you like him so much after a dozen college starts at the D2 level to trade three, three first-round picks to get him, and then after four starts, one of which he played three plays, mm-hmm. you are ready to throw him away? They made your, a mistake. But that, okay, that's and fine. is it important to be right or to get it right? No, so I, that's. They I got to get it I right. get that. And what I am saying is, though, in this, in, in this business, that type of mistake, someone must be held to account. They really are struggling. No. I mean, right? They they, they really look bad. Hold on, and I'm sorry, Greg. They can win the no, Super no, Bowl. No, I, Go the, ahead. The, you, but Greg, you are Mister. If you don't win a Super Bowl, it's devastating. Well, for the Cowboys. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait a moment. <laughs> the Niners made a Super Bowl, right? Yeah. They then made an NFC Championship. They've they've done all these things, right? Right. If they don't win a Super Bowl, 
It will be in large part because not only they never got the quarterback position right, but players who could have helped them, like Micah Parsons, and then the two next first-round picks they didn't get, they spit on a guy that they watched play throw a hundred passes and throw him out. Obviously, Micah Parsons is great. You'd love to have him. But we can't say if they don't win the Super Bowl, that's why. What, what if, if they do? They might win the Super Bowl. I'm just saying, look, Trey Lance has had all these practices to impress him. And maybe he's a gamer, and well, we I know he's only played a few games, but he hadn't looked like a great gamer in those games. Brock Purdy came right in and took uh, capitalized on this I'm opportunity. I'm talking about Darnold, not Purdy. The Darnold thing is what's going. Look, Darnold That's was the, the third this pick is, in the draft so, too, so and got 60 starts to show he stinks. So 60. It's not shocking that Darnold went one out. Like when you're running an offense and you are the offensive coordinator and the head coach and you have an offensive guy like Brock Purdy who looks great in your scheme, you want to be able to, if anything were to happen, transition to the next guy without having to totally shift all of what you're doing mid-game. However, to your point, for me, this is completely mishandled and it's just odd the way that they're, if this were a lot of other organizations and you invest so much assets into a draft pick and you say to your fan base and to that player and to the league basically we're drafting him here for this reason but we know we're going to play him down the road because we got to give him an opportunity to develop and nurture it nurture the talent into him that's one thing what they're basically saying is we choose Kyle Shanahan over this draft pick which is odd and when you when you have a guy at the quarterback position that you haven't given a chance, that's my only issue and qualm with it. as a player. It, wait, if you're on that team and you're at practice every day, forget Purdy, who's looking better in practice. If Darnold clearly is looking better than Trey Lance, and you're a player on that team yep. and they put Trey Lance ahead of him, is that going to diminish your morale just a little bit? Like. Hmm. Darnold's clearly better. I, I get you. I'm, That's I'm, all I'm saying. I, I'm with you there. However, what I'm saying is for that player, the re- you knew he was a work that you were going to have to fit, kind of fine-tune. You knew it was going to be and a process. And keeping him. Oh, th- th- yeah, no, you're keeping him, I but he's damaged. So. He's Mentally, he's, he's done. done. Look, it, it's the practice. NFL, yeah. baby. You know that more than anybody. I get you got to be able to overcome that. I don't know. Can't overcome it if you don't get a chance to play. He might with their injuries. Who knows? Yeah, holding the, uh, the scout games. team cards. Yeah, I mean, that's tough. Choosing Man. Darnold over Lance is un. It, it's just the worst process imaginable. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.